Helping you quit at Spokane Falls Community College. We are ready to help you quit. By working through this program, you are telling us you are interested in quitting smoking and you want to know how we can support your goal. Why quit? Set yourself up by getting the facts. What are the health risks of smoking? Why is it so hard to quit? How can my health improve? What is smoking really costing me? Health risks. Smoking is the number one cause of preventable death in the United States. Almost half of a million people, 440,000, die every year in the United States from smoking-related diseases. Quitting smoking will reduce your risk of getting the most common deadly diseases in the United States. Lung cancer can often take many years to develop. Cigarette smoke damages cells. The cell damage can lead to tumors that often start in the lungs. Once lung cancer occurs, the cancer cells can break away from the lungs and spread to other parts of the body. COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, refers to a group of lung conditions that are accompanied by a blockage of airflow out of the lungs. It includes emphysema and chronic bronchitis. COPD is different from the asthma, but it can be hard to tell them apart. COPD makes it difficult to breathe and may get slowly worse as the damage to the lungs progress. Stroke can be caused either by a clot blocking the flow of blood to the brain or by a blood vessel rupturing and preventing blood flow to the brain. Nicotine and cigarette smoke damages the walls of blood vessels. This makes it easier for clots to form and increase the risk of smoke. Health risks that you can reduce when you quit smoking. Coronary heart disease, CHD, is caused when the coronary arteries become narrow or clogged and cannot supply enough blood to the heart. This causes the heart to work harder. Cigarette smoke narrows the blood vessels and also reaches, reduces their ability to carry oxygen throughout the body, increasing your risk of CHD. Also, women who smoke and take birth control pills are 13% times more likely to have a heart attack than women who do not smoke and take birth control pills. Accumulated evidence suggests that cervical cancer can be caused by smoking. <clears throat> benefits from quitting, major and immediate health benefits. 24 hours after quitting, your chance of heart attack decreases. Two weeks to three months after quitting, your blood circulation improves, your lung function increases up to 30%. One to nine months after quitting, Cilia, tiny hair-like structures that move mucus out of the lungs, regain normal function in the lungs, increasing the ability to handle mucus, clean the lungs, and reduce infection. You might actually cough for a while when you stop smoking, but the cough will be productive and will eventually stop. Congestion, fatigue, and shortness of breath start to decrease. One year after quitting, your excess risk of developing a heart attack is now half the risk of a smoker. Five and a half years after quitting, your risk of having a stroke is reduced to that of a non-smoker. Ten years after quitting, lung cancer death rate is about half of a smoker's and the risk of other types of cancer, mouth, esophagus, bladder, cervix, and pancreas has decreased. Benefits from quitting? Other benefits from quitting smoking include food tastes better, your sense of smell and taste return to normal, your breath, clothes, hair, and nails do not smell a cigarette. You save money by not buying cigarettes. If you kept track of how many packs of cigarettes you bought in a week, you can see how much money you have saved by quitting. Why is it so hard to quit? Urges come from the brain chemistry. <clears throat> when you smoke a cigarette, nicotine is sent to your brain for a few seconds. Nicotine starts a series of biochemical reactions in your brain that ultimately cause a release of dopamine. Dopamine gives you the feeling of pleasure and calm. The level of dopamine drops between cigarettes and you start to feel jumpy. Your brain craves the nicotine so that more dopamine will be released to make you feel calm again. The cycle goes on of craving, smoking, calming, and craving. What is hard to quit? Behavior is hard to change. Your brain expects a cigarette during certain activities, and doing this activity can trigger a desire for a smoke. It is then very hard to do that activity without a cigarette. Smoking becomes part of your daily habits. 
you smoke when you make a phone call, having your morning coffee, or wait at the bus stop. You're not sure what to do with your hands if you're holding a cigarette. Also remember that a smoker's brain knows that nicotine will help release calming dopamine. So stressful situations, such as traffic jams or difficult jobs, can also trigger a desire for a cigarette, even if it's not part of your daily routine. Behaviors can trigger desire for a smoke. How we can help. We understand quitting smoking is difficult, but we are here to help you. Health benefit information is available. Beat the pack program from Pfizer Pharmaceutical is available. Support, support, support. How we can help you quit health insurance coverage. Benefits provided by Spokane Falls Community College coverage includes websites through Group Health and Kaiser Permanent Classic. On those websites, go to wellness and health sections. Discover these areas of this website. It will give you support group classes that are available and information regarding what your coverage will cover. Please take the time, get the information. Medication along with counseling is recommended to adult smokers to try to quit. As always, we encourage you to see your doctor to find the right option for you since everyone is different.